If I wanted to draw a gable roof or a simple rectangular roof, first of all I make sure I've got the roof tool selected by left mouse clicking on it. Then up in the info box or the default settings dialog box for the roof, I can go along here and choose the geometry method, which is the second icon here. And I can also go along and fill in the rest of the parameters, pitch the roof 20 degrees, pitching height 3 meters, and the thickness of the roof which is 120. So first of all, I left mouse click on the slab to define a pivot line. And so left mouse click, and as I drag the pivot line out, it normally lines up with the edge of the slab or the reference side of the wall. And once the pencil's black, we know that we're actually on a point or on the edge of the slab, the corner of the slab. I left mouse click again. After defining the pivot line, a cursor in the form of an eyeball comes up and we use this cursor to click on the side of the pivot line where you want the roof plane to rise so we're going up toward the center of the roof and in the case of a negative roof we obviously click on the opposite side of the pivot line so I'm going to left mouse click once and as soon as I do that the pencil turns into a white pencil now it looks like nothing's happening but it, because it's a white pencil it means we haven't completed a function so I'm just going to click again where the roof starts and drag out a piece of roof. So I'm just going to touch the edge of this slab and the halfway marker will automatically come up and I'll left mouse click again to complete that function. I'm just going to do it again from the other side so it doesn't matter which, which side I start from so I left mouse click once, drag it out, left mouse click again. I want the roof to rise up into this part of the slab, left mouse click once, go back to the point of origin or a point of origin drag the roof out, click again, and there's my roof. If I want to edit that further, I can merely hold the shift key down, select it, and the pet palette comes up, and we've gone over all these. They're exactly the same as they were with a slab. If I want eaves, I can just click on this icon here, the offset edge icon. And when the tracker palette comes up, I can type in, if I wanted a 450 eave, just type in 450, push enter, but I can also type in if I'm in the wide direction, so I'm going vertically up the page, I can left mouse click and type Y 500 or 450 minus to take it down the page if I wanted to. So there's two ways of moving the edge and you can just get out of that function at the moment and I can do that to every edge going around the roof. Now to look at the, the result of that in 3D, I'm just going to left mouse click on the 3D roof tool and there's our gable roof. Just quickly I can also create a gable roof in the 3D window, so first of all I'll just select these two roof planes and delete them. Go back to the roof tool and if I click on the barrel vault construction method, I can click on the floor plan once twice, notice I'm waiting for the black pencil to come up so I'm actually clicking accurately for points then I can define the amount of sides of the roof, I'm just going to put two in there, push OK uh, there's also this little pet palette here and click one more time, so there's my three clicks and as I drag out I can click to the end of the roof and there's my gable roof like that as well and I can actually just select both edges and move that up to three meters. So there's my gable roof created in 3D as well.